Yay, I'm still in the mood to record, so I might as well finish up this week's recordings right now. And, uh, let's pull off a trick. First and foremost, I should point out that there was another, uh, berserker hanging around there, so there's three of them. Let's try this. Did I kill any of them? Uh, there's two... I think I did manage to kill one with that trick. No, they all survived. Nice to know. Uh, screw it. And, yeah, I just... Yeah, let's just blow these things up. There's really no reason why I shouldn't be. Oh, hello. Oh, damn it. Yeah, missed that plan. Wait, he didn't plan on, like, just sitting there for no reason, did he? Whoa, oh god, and there's that. They're all... Oh god. Where in the... Okay. Um, that clusterfuck of random enemies aside, let's give you and see if there's anything else down here worthwhile aside from that thing, Uh, what's that? Okay, that's that thing. Um... I believe... Yep. Oh, God. This place is just... My God. Okay. Now, let's see if I can compose myself and actually start talking about some shit, because... Yeah, I really don't want to have to redo the segment. I do like the combat armor here, though. Definitely a handy thing to do. Um... So yeah, anyways, proceeding further on into the borehole, and there are, I don't think this is the last, um, gladiator around, I think there's another one maybe coming around here. Yeah, I figured as much. I didn't really think that the, whoa, jeez. Alright, uh, did I kill him? Okay, I did, I did kill him. I was kind of surprised by that, but thankfully I didn't. And there's more mutants. Uh, good thing, though, is I have all this room which I can then d just use to lob grenades down there. So, it shouldn't be... It, these these will not be a problem. Simple as that. Uh, I guess I could throw rockets. Yeah, the rockets are proving to be much more effective because they're just going on a straight trajectory instead of, like, an arc. And I'm aiming pretty well, but... Well, he got kind of got himself caught for some, like on something. I got no idea what in the world the glitches in this game are all about, but they kind of did that. Uh, okay. Well, the other one's down there, and I can't really get a good shot off. All right. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay. Good thing I was able to deal with him in a speedy-like manner, because I didn't want to get sent flying down there. And what in God's name? Okay, the other mutant just seems to be like... He's down there, but he just doesn't want to be. Ah, oh, that's because he's been caught. He's caught up in that area. And he's caught again, which means killing him was so incredibly easy. Alright, give it him. Would be nice to get that ammo down there. Um, I'm not sure if there was a way back up, though. There's a quad damage down there, which is pretty decent, but... Um, I'm going to just quickly check this little area out. Oh, yep, yep. Definitely got to hang around here, because... Okay, now this is actually a bit of a... This is... Now that I remember think about it, this is actually a pretty um, tricky place to be because it can be a bit of an arsehole, so I'm going to make a save. I'm going to press these and then activates those and sets those guys off. And then... Okay. So it... Okay, so he has they haven't been that bad. Whoa, God. Yeah, didn't want... Oh, jeez. Die. Thank you for dying. 
You're very much well. Uh, yeah, that was much appreciated. Okay, and there's that sounded that kind of sounded like the um thing from kind of like, it kind of like sounded like that rail lift thing from the lost station level. Speaking of which, um, the next secret level, I cannot remember for the life of me where the next secret level is. I know that it's not in this unit. Oh, wait, no, it's in the next unit. Yeah, it's in the next unit. It's sudden death. Um, sh now, should I go down here? Might as well. I think it's worth having a bit of an exploration because there's cells and rockets and... Would be nice if there were shells, but no such luck. And you can drop dead. How many quad damages have I got? One. So, yes, I am right to pick this one up. Okay, sweet. Uh, and how do we get out of here? Oh, right, sweet. No problem. Okay. Now, what else have we got around this joint? Um, I think we're just going to walk around here. Yeah, come on, berserkers. They're not that much of a challenge if I can just... Do something like that, you know, just totally shoot a grenade and then completely forget that there is a thing as a mingus there. Wait. Okay. Really? Really? How do I keep missing my frickin' grenades? Like, God. Oh. Oh, oh screw you. Seriously, screw you. Like, just about every single grenade I, I threw there missed, and then he throws one and it hits directly. And my jack and my combat armor that I had is completely gone now. Go figure. Oh, this game is so unfair sometimes. But yeah, now that we've activated the drill, we can get access to the rest of these areas. First port of call is over here. Which is the drilling area, and that is that. That definitely looks like a gladiator. All right. Bugger all in terms of shells, cells. I guess I'll have to throw rockets. All right. So he was taken care of pretty easily. Oh god. Bad! Oh, thank God. Now, watch me lose it, like, within 10 seconds. Well, there, I just lost 12 points of it. Well, there you go. I just lost, yeah. Floating gunner! See? There, go there goes three-fifths of it. Fantastic. Oh, great. I now have seven points of the armor that I just picked up left. Nice to know, I guess. Oh, God. Then there's this, which I is definitely a challenge. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, yes. Definitely saving. Oh, God damn it! Seriously? Oh, my God. There's still more enemies! Why? Now, why would they have these here anyway? I don't know. Just, like, what the shit? Okay, now, do we get through that scot-free? I mean, yes, we've lost nine-tenths. Yes, I've lost nine-tenths of my armor. But, oh god, I'm gonna lose the rest of it here, guaranteed. Um, yeah, let that monster in fighting thing happen. Thank you for weakening the gladiator a little bit, Gunner. Your reward is gibbitude. Okay, um... What in the world is that up there? Hmm, that actually seems kind of interesting. I have no idea how in the world I would get up there, though. Okay, so 
there, that access bridge is lower, which gets us direct, that takes you direct from that door to the factory. Unfortunately, that door is not accessible through the other area of the borehole. We've got to go through the lower mines in order to get there. Now, okay, i got to check this out. I've seriously got to check this out. So I'm going to save here, and I'm going to rocket jump up there. I didn't take anywhere near as much damage as I thought I would. Um... Okay. So where would this take me? Borehole. Okay. We're back at Borehole. This place... This is kind of... This is kind of interesting. How would we get access to this area, though? That would be... That's an... That's something... That's a question of relative interest. Um, let's see if I can nail the... Okay, I don't think I can get anywhere further up there, and I'm just going to end up killing myself if I proceed on doing that. So I'm just going to reload and completely forget that that ever happened. Fantastic. Uh, now I believe that's like... That take... I know, I know that that is like a hatch in which you open from, I think, that area out there if you go swimming through that area. Um, I think that's about it though. Uh, yeah, save here, because I really don't want to get caught any harm from those things. And... Oh, yeah, there's that area down there. I don't know how you would access that area. I'm not 100% sure, I think. Yeah, because if we keep going in this direction, we're just going to go back here. Blow those up, because I can, I can, and I guess I'll blow up that up, because I can as well. I, I, I actually, Yeah, I think the rest of the drilling area access through another area down below. Yeah, because you do this, and then... Which one's the down one? Oh, sweet. Yeah. You go through here and you go to the rest of the drilling area. Which, there, I believe this is the level with a really interesting and hilarious trap. Okay, took a shitload for damage and I did eventually lose my armor. I did, however... Yeah, that's... That's one of those things, you never really think that you'd have to destroy these at all because they seem just like part of the rest of the um, environment, but I mean, we've blown one, we blew up one up in the jail area to switch the fans off and ensure we didn't get cut up, and then we had to blow these two up to gain access to the rest of this area. And, yeah. Okay, thankfully they both died relatively quick. Grab the shells. Thankfully, like this, don't, the one thing I'll, the one thing that I can th that I can be thankful for when it comes to this to these mines is uh, there's no like rocks that drop from the ceiling and crush you. That's the big problem. That's one of the things I hated about uh, uh, Ground Zero, the um, one of the expansion packs for this game one of the mission packs for this game, because um, you, the, the first unit of the game is a set of mines, and you got to go through there, and there's a, one area in which a, a big rock just falls and crushes you, and that was a problem. And there, there was, um, I can't remember which one it was, it was one of the mission packs for Quake 1. You go through these mines, and um, I didn't even realise this, I kept getting, I got like, killed three times before I realised what the hell was going on. I turned around and found that there was a big, like, boulder chasing after me. And like once I once I saw once I saw this, I then realised the pun because whenever I because I drop there, I die, and then the uh, message thing at the top left of the screen would say you got Jonesed, and yes, yeah, so then I turned around, realised that the boulder was there, and I was like, oh, Indiana Jones reference, okay. So yeah, more technicians. I can't really say I've missed these guys because they were obviously irritating. But they are still not as, but they are still nowhere near, they still are not difficult at all. As a matter of fact, I think they're even easier because of my increased, um, arsenal. So, uh, this is probably the level I hate the most out of the wall, because it's just a bunch of annoying shit. 
I do, there is one thing I do like about this level and it is coming up. It's uh, another trap. Die. Thank you. Okay, you die too. I think there might be one more technician. I'll have a look around here. No, but there is a gunner. And he was not that much of a problem to deal with. Technician. And then is there anything down there? Yes, there is. And he can just drop dead. That was kind of mean. That, yeah, that was kind of mean right there. If you didn't see that, he he dropped some... He dropped, he dropped a pack of grenades, but it ended up getting sent flying down into the lava. And you came from just nowhere, so I'll just let the pieces of you fall into the lava where they'll dissolve. Well, we got some grenades there. Now, saving again. A lot of saving. Because this entire area here will explode under your feet as soon as you walk past it. Well, it didn't exactly explode, but it just kind of disappeared. And then there's that thing. Thankfully, that thing does not move. And I did not want to fall into that water, so I'm going to have to reload. Much saved state of use. Uh, yeah, I want to go for that. Yeah, there's those little bits sticking out which you can just jump across in order to get back, which is not that bad. Then we can jump down here, grab the nade launcher, and be on our merry way. Now, I do believe that there is a gunner around here. Yeah, you kind of got that. And he's just sitting there. Hey, look. What happened, Hanslo? Yay! So, we kind of got that tank and it randomly drops a quad damage, which unfortunately I can't carry with me because I've got two of them already. It kind of sucks, but... Oh, well, tough. Tough one. Okay, now there's this thing. Yeah, push that. And it blasts away through that wall. So, yeah, we kind of got that. Now there's this. There's that rocket launcher there, but if you grab that, that wall breaks down and there's the big bloody drill machine over there, which you don't want to set off first. That's the one thing, yeah, that's the one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to set that off first. The first thing we're going to do is jump all the way over here, collect the adrenaline, our tenth one of the game. I think now, I think now players realise that the adrenalines are pretty good when they're, like, stacked up, because I've now got 10 extra points of health as, as my max, which is pretty decent. Now, we're going to go to the lower mines, we're going to, yeah, we're going to save again, because I want to grab this, uh, boink. Okay, that was, yeah, that was close, because I, oh yeah, yeah I was kind of getting caught yeah, I was getting caught on that, which was bad. A couple more health. Now, you want to be careful walking past this because an earthquake sets off, so I'm going to save again. Yeah. It shouldn't be that hard if you know how to... if you just do some light strafing. It's not that bad. Whoa! Hello. Yeah, that was... a bit tight. Thankfully, the lower mines, like, I keep thinking that the lower mines is just this really hard place to get through. It's not even that long a level. Now, before I go up there, I'm going to get rid of that gunner. Provided I can hit him, of course, like he's just moving around. Oh, did I get rid of him? No, I didn't. Come on, freaking hit. Hit a goddamn thing, why don't ya? Okay, good. I was actually surprised that that gibbed him, to be quite honest. Okay, uh, yeah, you're gonna grab the chain gun in case there's another one up here, because they, yeah, I figured as much. 
Okay, that wasn't that bad. Low heal up. I probably could have used a grenade because there was a shit load of them here. I've got 91. Better make that 96. And I th I'm actually surprised. I don't think I took as many hits as I thought I as I thought I did in that just in just in that level in general because I still have a pretty decent amount of combat armor on me. So now we're back to the drilling area, which means we can go straight to the service elevator to the factory. So we grab them on the way and deal with those two thinguses. Well, this calls for a quad damage. Whoa. God damn it. Well, that kind of sucked. First death of the game. On, f yeah, first recorded death of the game. That's just, you know, fantastic. Uh, God damn it. And, and once again, I was screwed over by the simplest of things. A dead body sitting in front of me. See, I kind of crated there, as the message said. And we get to go through that small little area at the end, but it really doesn't make that much of a difference. I think the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the annoying little guards and whatnot. Either that or I'll just spam the crap out of my Hyper Blaster on, on uh, quad damage mode. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that's what I'll do. So, set that up. And die. Um, yeah, that actually was a really bad thing to do, because there's a, um, thing up there. Okay, uh, is it possible? Um, it, it might be. It might just be. Let me try this. If I can jump. God damn it. Sweet. So those barrels weren't necessary. And it's a good thing, because, yeah, adrenalines are good. And this was completely pointless. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, and we're up to the 22-minute mark. So, looks like we are finishing the, this unit at the end of the week. Nice. So, uh, next time, we will be going through the factory unit. See you for that. Of course, I'll be ending with the cutscene. Sound is playing. I guess it just fits. I guess it just fits the bill that I can hear it. It's fair enough for me, but bagel. <laughs>